Hello everyone, Tyronis3 here, and I am bringing you a video tutorial on how to download custom maps for the game Portal 2. This will only work for the PC version of the game, and will not work for Mac, PlayStation, or Xbox. There is a way to get custom maps on the Mac version, but you'll have to go to a different tutorial for that. This only works for Windows version of the game. Now, first off, you're going to need to download a map. I have two maps here from this website, thinkingwithportals.com, which in my opinion is the best website to download maps from. It, the whole entire website is dedicated to mapping for the game, so you can upload your own maps or download other people's maps. So I will download, quickly download these two. Just click, click the download button, and I'll download this one too. Now, uh, here are the folders I just downloaded. You are going to need a archiving program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to open the files. I personally like WinRAR more, so but you can use 7-Zip if you want. Just Google search WinRAR, or I'll have the link in the description, and I also have the link for this website in the description as well. So once you have WinRAR 7-Zip downloaded, you can just open these you open your the file you downloaded just minimize these and now you're going to need to go to the file where your portal 2 is installed so you're going to go to computer or you're going to go to start menu then to computer and then you have to go to wherever your steam is installed most people will have it installed in their c drive some people have it elsewhere but basically just go to wherever you have it installed now, I have 64-bit Windows 7, so I have two program files folders, regular program files and x86. Uh, with 32-bit Windows, I'm pretty sure that Steam will be installed in the regular program files. Um, but I have 64-bit, so I have it in x86. As you can see, it's right here. If you don't know which one Steam is installed to, just look, look at, uh, just look through it and it will only be installed in one. You won't have it in both places. So, go to Steam. Go to Steam Apps. Go to Common. And now these are the games you have installed on Steam. As you can see, Portal 2 is right here. And what I have done is I've right-clicked it, and I have let's see, right-click it. I have created a shortcut, and I put it on my desktop next to my Portal 2 icon. So basically, I won't have to go through all of the steps to get back to this spot. I can just quickly just click on this, and it will bring me right to where I want to go. So click on that. Now click on Portal 2 again, and this is and uh, now there are a bunch of folders, and there are your recordings if you've used Source Recorder on the game. Um, there are two places maps can be put to. They can be put to the Add-ons folder if you. Uh, which I'll get to later, and the maps folder. Most maps will go into the maps folder, um, but there are spe specific things that, uh, specific rules, I guess, that go with each folder. So this is why I've downloaded two different, two different uh, maps, I guess. One of them is in VPK file format, and the other one is in BSP file format. So, sorry, all maps that have the BSP extension must go to the maps folder. So just drag it into here, and I've already had it installed, so I'll just replace it. So now that map is in the game. Now, if you have a VPK extension, like, oops, not this one, like this one, you're going to have to go to your add-ons folder. With just regular Portal 2, if you've just downloaded it, installed it on Steam, you won't have an add-ons folder you have to right click and create a new folder and name it add-ons for whatever reason it doesn't come with just doesn't come with stock portal 2 so just create the folder and then put all your vpk files just drag and drop into there now the fol the files are officially in your in your um, portal 2 game so you're just going to have to start up portal 2 so now that you've started up Portal 2, 
you're going to have to enable something called the developer console. Now to do this, go to options, keyboard and mouse, and allow developer console. I already have it enabled. If you don't, just click the arrow and it will be enabled. Click done and go to bat. Now, um, I'm going to have to open the developer console. So by default, it is the key with the squiggly line on it, for lack of a better name, because I don't know the, uh, I guess, correct name of it. But for most keyboards, it's under the escape button, to the left of the one button, and above the tab button. So just hit that, and it should bring up this menu. Now, you're going to need to have remembered what the name of uh, the map was. So I know one of them was thinking with lasers, so I type map, space, thinking, and as you see, as I started writing it, it will fill in the rest of it for me. So I just click on that and submit. Now it will load the map. As you can see, this is a custom map. It is the map just downloaded. And there you go. So just you can mess around with a bunch of new maps. So it will let, uh, make the game last a lot longer, add a lot of replayability. And there are lots of custom maps on the internet, especially on that one website. And people are constantly making more. So I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. And thanks for watching.